Hello everyone, welcome to Horses of Jorvik, a series where I travel to different parts of Jorvik and learn about the history of each breed on the island. For our first episode, we will be starting with the beautiful Akalteki. I am currently at Silverwade Manor where they breed and sell these beautiful Turkmenistan horses. Alright, we are here and I am with Jenna White, whose great-grandfather was the first person to bring these horses here. So, Jenna, can you give us some history on this breed? Yes. Now, this breed was bred for endurance and speed. This horse was actually used by the tribes for transportation. They bred these horses for endurance, speed, and agility. So they are commonly used for dressage, show jumping, long distance riding, and pleasure riding. Wow, that is so interesting. So, which horse am I going to have the pleasure to ride today? All right, well, this is Kaya. Wow, she is stunning. So, can you tell me more about her? Of course. Well, as you can see, she's about 16 hands tall. Now, she's used for all sorts of activities here, such as dressage, show jumping, and endurance riding. Oh, nice. Well, who's the other horse here? This is Rio. He's also Nicole Tacky, but sadly you cannot ride him since he's going through basic training. Oh, that's too bad. Well, their coats are so beautiful. I've never seen a horse, horse with such a shiny coat. Is that Shoshin or do Nicole Techies have that naturally? Well, it's all natural. As you can see on Rio's coat, the metallic shine is caused by the unique shape of the hair that bends light through one side of the hair and reflects it out the other side which causes that shimmer in their horse's coat. All right, so Kaya was a very interesting horse to ride. Her trot was smooth, but it always felt like she just wanted to canter or break into a gallop, which was all interesting. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of rode her doing walk, trot, canter, just kind of got a feel of her mouth, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the next clips of our little warm ups. Alright, so here she is finally getting into a canner. As you can see, she seems to be pretty relaxed. She's doing kind of well. I mean, you can really tell with her gait that she was meant to travel long distances. Since, you know, so strong and steady. I actually really enjoyed cantering her. Okay, so after our warm up, we decided to take her out on the small little endurance tracks, which is going to be very fun. Uh, in case you didn't already know, I have done endurance riding on my mare, Paris, a long time ago, which I uploaded a whole video on that. So, yeah, enjoy the clips. So starting her out in extended canner, we started going through the course and we came across a bridge which she kind of wanted to jump over. Anyway, we started over towards Silverglade which went fine, but um, in case you like, I don't know, if any of you guys have traveled to Silverglade before and if you look across little the walls, uh, obviously we got to the village. It was very unstable. so. She thought we were going through the village, and I was like, we are not going through the village. And she was like, um, I don't know about that. So, yeah, you'll see this in the next clip, kind of whenever we're approaching the entrance, you will see us kind of slowing down a bit. Uh, yeah, she started galloping, I don't know why. Alright, so you can see here, she was kind of a little annoyed that we had to slow down but you know eventually once we got clear i brought her back up to a gallop 
and we eventually arrived back in Steve's farm, where Jenna, she was obviously waiting for us there. Uh, so we, I just kind of slowed her down. She was like, "Ugh, we're stopping already since, you know, whatever. Okay, let me tell you, I was dripping in sweat, okay? It looked like I had ran a marathon in Florida, and then I was dipped in a huge Olympic swimming pool of disgusting sweat. But no, she was completely spotless, like she was dry. Okay, whatever, who cares? Anyway, Jenna was waiting for us there, so I just, you know, untacked her, brushed her down, put on her halter, uh, took off my took off my helmet, and then, you know, we just loaded her back into the trailer and trailered back to the manor. All right, I hope everyone here enjoyed the first episode of Horses of Jorvik. Next episode, I'll be traveling to Starshine Ranch, where I will be trying out ranch work with the beautiful breed of the Wild West, the American Quarter Horse.